Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. And it's day four of our Northern Powerhouse Brew Series from Wylam and the eight Northern Brewers. This one is, uh, I've said number four, it's the Northern, Bre Northern Powerhouse Brew Series, number four, American Wheat, a Wylam and Thornbridge collab, and here it is. Have a little look. Very nice can art, as, is, it's, it, as it is with all these beers. These all, I'm assuming, represent something from the local brewery. I'm assuming at that. I think it's Thornbridge Hall, I think. Uh, obviously, the brewery's on an estate. This hops wise, then, we are looking at Chinook, uh, BBC, and Centennial, with additions of jasmine and orange peel, ingredients of water, body, gluten, and wheat, hops, and yeast. It is a 5.5%, and the best before is the 1st of January 2019. Which it says so right there. So without further ado, I've had this before, pop a top, and let's see what we get. So, beer in a glass, then, what are we looking at? It's a hazy gold coloured beer with a figure of white. Very white head, bubbles are very densely compacted, very small, very little crackle from the head. It looks it looks like a nice little wheat beer actually. So let's get a nose, let's see what it smells like. Oh. There's loads of orange. There's a little bit of um, jasmine there. It's quite floral. Um, it's a bit sort of, there's a, there's a kind of pear dropsy, estery smell to it as well. Maybe it's on a twist, shouldn't be though. Anyway, let's give it a dive in. Cheers. That. Wow. Carburation is dead light. The bubbles just sit and then all face all at once, gone. Carbon uh, body is uh, really light. It's not watery, but it's light. It has a little bit of a chewy taste, a chewy texture to it. But again, as I've as I said, a lot of these are not offensive. Taste wise, there's orange there and this, it's floral. Is, it is flowery, but it's nice. It's a good, good, good beer. There's a little bit of peach, sort of stone fruit effort going on. I could drink a lot of this really, really well, really easily. There's a, there's a little dryness on the back. There's not too much of the way in the way of malt, which is really good actually. There's a bit coming through now. There's a little bit of almost sort of banana, yeasty, a bit of funkiness on it. But again, it's not offensive at all. It's a well made, well done beer. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But then, what do you expect? These two brewers, as is with all of them, know exactly what they're doing, know what they want to achieve, what their aim is, and they hit it every time. This is really good. It's really good ale. I could probably, I know it's 5.5, but I could probably session this four or five, maybe four or five, six cans of this. I'd be really happy. It'd be good with a bit of cheese, too. It'd be nice with a bit of cheese, actually. The, as I say, there's a jasmine, flowiness, orange peel to it, nice little citrus hit. As I say, I've got a waft of banana funkiness under my nose. It's lovely. It's really, really good. Uh, I'm going to wrap this review up now, I think, because I'm going to go finish the rest of this off. If you have had this beer, let me know. Uh, put a comment in the box below. There will be a link to the Wild Brewery 
again below. Uh, if you're watching for the first time, you like the review, please hit the subscribe button because I can do with more subscribers. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the video, either way. And I will see you on the next one. Before I go, I meant to do this actually earlier. Anyway. Got bits of Barton's and Aston Makefield. Bought a couple of cheap little beers, £2.75 and £3.25 alike, respectively. First one is that one, which is El, Gin El Gingero, which is a double on excuse me, double orange and ginger oatmeal stout. Looking forward to reviewing that. Uh, but I've got to took the plunge and done it for the books of Abinson. 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 This is the uh, Apocalypse of Thunder Juice. Look forward to reviewing that future in the, in, the, in the near future. Right, I'm out of here. See you in the next one. Hail the Ale.